Miss Decker. Tonight, it's girls' talk. Wow. I think I'm freaking odd. <laughs> Better go and tell Mom and Dad to clean the mold out of the crazy paving, because we're going to talk about family planning. <laughs> Hello, Barbie. How was your wedding night? Just horrid, Joan. I had to endure men's business. You <laughs> do? Well, I've discovered Valium, and now I sleep through the whole act. <laughs> Hello, Joan, darling. Cocktail sausage? Not tonight, Bruce. I've got a headache. <laughs> Spirit, but you really can't have a headache every night. If you're not a Roman Catholic, there are lots of new artificial methods. This dress, for example. <laughs> and then there's... That's a pretty ship, Patty. No, it's my new contraceptive device. It's called the coil. Oh, really? How do you get out of it? You don't. So you see, if I can't get out, he certainly can't get in. <laughs> Of course, marriage has a messy side that no one likes to talk about. I've got this awful itching. <laughs> Scotch finger? <laughs> In these times of rock and roll music and women's liberation, nice girls can often give men the wrong signals. <laughs> That blue gesture certainly says, I'm anybody. <laughs> That's better. She'll be safe tonight. Of course, these days we can talk frankly and openly about childbirth. So, Joan, when's the baby due? Well, Barbie, the stork will be bringing it in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, Joan, babies don't come from storks. They don't. Where do they come from? <laughs> so you see, girls, marriage isn't all swing frocks and patio parties. This is the lucky country, and every girl is entitled to the great Australian dream. Marriage, mortgage, and menopause. Wow, freak out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.